Hi guys, I'm Alex Tamulis, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 version 4.3.3. I decided to update to iOS 4.3.3 after the uh, developers came up with an exploit that works with that, uh, that firmware. Before we begin, let me tell you that jailbreaking is not illegal. It is actually lawful and you are completely entitled to do it, should you so desire. So now let's just start jailbreaking. First, I'm going to show you that I'm running iOS version 4.3.3. Go to Settings, General, About, it's right there, 4.3.3. Okay, so now you're going to want to download the latest version of Red Snow and the latest firmware for your iPhone 4. I have both links down below. Check out the description and download both of them. Plug in the iPhone 4 to the USB port of your computer. Okay, so once Red Snow is opened, you're going to want to browse for the firmware that you saved onto your desktop. Confirm that you have iOS 4.3.3 and click Open. It'll say Processing Firmware and then IPSW Successfully Identified, as you can see. Go ahead and click Next and it'll start preparing all the data for the jailbreaking. Now you have a screen with a whole bunch of options. The ones that you can leave checked are Install Cydia, Allow Boot Animation and Enable Multitask Gestures. Remember, all the other options have to be unchecked. Okay, after that, go ahead and click Next. Now Red Snow will be giving you instructions, just basically telling you to have your iPhone plugged in and turned off. Your iPhone has to be in DFU mode, and I'll show you how to do that now. It is much better to enter DFU mode ahead of time so we can have the phone ready. It is actually very easy to put into DFU mode. The phone doesn't even have to be off. Hold down the power button and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for 15 more seconds. If you're not wearing a watch, count to 20. After those 20 seconds, let go of the home button. Nothing will happen. Don't worry, you are in DFU mode. Now I have my iPhone in DFU mode, I'm gonna hit next and it'll start exploiting. As you can see, it is saying downloading jailbreak data. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff going on and it'll be like that for a couple minutes. It's just running through the exploit. After that step, you'll see a pineapple icon and that means your device is being jailbroken. Once that step is completed, your device will be rebooted. Now it finished booting up. I already have Cydia installed on my iPhone. So go ahead and tap the Cydia icon and it'll say preparing file system and then your device will respring. Go ahead and tap Cydia one more time and tap the option user then tap done. After that, the Cydia App Store is ready to be explored. Okay guys, I hope everything goes well with your jailbreaking. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.